Hello, my name is Suman Shah from ASP Solution. Today we will discuss on Subledger in Oracle Fusion. Subledger application and sources. The Subledger is nothing. It's a rule-based accounting engine that centralizes the accounting for Oracle Fusion product. Subledger is also called as SLA. It's a, not a separate product itself, but it is a Oracle rule engine satisfy the accounting need for both Oracle and external module. External module means that it's coming from legacy data or other applications apart from Oracle. Generate general entries from the source system transaction that is receivable, payable, expenses, fixed assets, purchasing, etc. And creates accounting entry online on specific invoice, say, payable mode or transaction on receivable mode and view by using create accounting. Create accounting for a batch of a transaction by submitting an offline process that uses the transaction and reference object data and plus the accounting rules to create sub-ledger journal entries through schedule process we can create accounting and provide parameters and submit the same and manual general adjustment we can create that also review accounting results and project balances on view and and report the flow of seeded models are in tables, even models are payable, account receivable, fixed asset, and cash money. And the process category in payables are invoice payments, and even class for in payables are invoice, debit memo, credit memo expenses report, prepayment invoice, and standard invoices. An event type in payables is creation, validation, cancellation, distribution, updation, updation, and adjust. Now we will move to application, how the tasks are performed. Right now we are in application. Uh, through setup and maintenance, setup, we will select scope as finance shifts and receivables, select all tasks. We will search for subledger application that is manage subledger applications. Subledger application is receivables. Short name is AR. This is my event model and uh, the process category is my adjustment, billing, miscellaneous receipt, standard receipts and transactions. These are my Process category. Select this is the process category. Under the process category, I will expand the adjustment. Adjustment is my event class. And under the adjustment, we create adjustment that is event type. Similarly, in build receivables, build receivable is my process category. And the bill receivable under the bill receivable, there is a cancellation, which is event type. Creation is also event type. These are the event types. Similarly, we will move to tables. These are the seeded. Select all the 
area manage subledges the event model is my payables and the process category is my invoice and payment under the invoice we have credit memo which is event class and the credit memo adjustment is my event type So the invoice is my event class and the invoice adjustment, cancellations and validations. These are the event types. Now we will navigate to Payables Workbench on Spring Board. I will select invoice is my work area on task panel i will create invoice my business unit is us business unit and i select a supplier say dell this is my header this is my header invoice header and this is my line Quickly fill that header. Lines. Okay. Get the same. Now you can see the invoice is validated. But accounting remains unaccounted right now. There are two options. Accounts in draft. You can view the account by selecting the draft mode and the process and the post to ledger will do the accounting. First we will select accounting as draft. First, I will navigate and select the invoice to manage invoices. You can see it's remained unaccounted right now. First, I will select account in draft. I can do from here also. And I can select the invoice here. In action, account in draft. You can view the accounting, but it will not post to the web. GL, general ledger. In view the accounting pro behind that. Now you can see the status as draft, accounting as draft. As soon as I select again, now I will post to the ledger 
as soon as I do the accounting, it will post, will transfer the balance by way of journal to general ledger. And now we will and now I will select the post to ledger. view the accounting now you can view and i can view the same through general ledger also navigator we will go to general accounting in journals This is called online mode. Manage journals. And the source I will select as Pagos. Oracle Fusion Pagos. And the category. I will select invoice purchase invoice search Select this is our you can see the same in entry is reflected in my general ledger. This is my US primary ledger and the category is purchase and voice. So you can see these are the journal lines, the journal batch and the journal. I can view through schedule processes schedule processes and the tools schedule processes i will select new schedule processes and select search select trial balance report we will select the trial balance report the list of period debits and period credits begin and end of the accounting summarized by natural accounts or accounts combination or natural account plus other segments. Select that. Now it is asking for parameters. This is the US primary ledger. I will select my US primary ledger and the ledger set is US primary ledger. And the uh, Currency is USD. I will select entered as USD dollar. The balance type is actual. The accounting period is my June. The PTD balance. I will filter the balancing segment. My Yes, business. I will 
will select as account summarize by account summit you can see yeah. Very good. this computer So here we are. So this is the how we will perform the online accounting and, uh, and sub ledger from sub ledger to GL. How the process flows. That's it. Thank you.